Hi, welcome to Matt Made It. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Before I dive into today's video, I have an announcement I wanna make. I have a website that went live a few days ago. It's really sparse, there's not much on it right now. I am designing it myself and it's not something I know how to do, so I'm just trying to get through it. But what is on the website right now are three G codes you can download for free. One of them is a spoil board surfacing toolpath. One is for carving a grid into your spoil board. And the other one is to carve the hold downs that I'm gonna be carving in today's video. So go to the website, mmiworkshop.com, all one word. That's mmiworkshop, all one word, dot com. When you go to download those free G codes, it is gonna ask you for credit card information. You don't actually have to put any credit card information in, so don't worry about that. They are 100% free. I will be adding more free downloads up there periodically, so check back every now and then and get yourself some free stuff. If you watched my last video, you saw at one point I had an issue with my material coming up and messing up my carve. I was just using double-sided tape to hold that material down to the spoil board. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make some hold downs to actually physically hold the material down to the spoil board. So that's what I'm going to be carving today. Of course, I have a major failure on some of them. Stick around to the end of the video. I talk about why those failed and how I fixed it so you can learn from my mistakes so you don't make the same one. So we cut our new hold downs, let's see how they work. Uh, I just have, this is just quarter 20 all thread that I cut into pieces. I have T-nuts in the bottom of my table, quarter 20 T-nuts. So let's just thread in. Hold downs we just cut, you just slide over. Drop a washer on, and then you can either use these 
butterfly nuts like this. Or if you want to get a little fancier, you can get these star knobs. You just want to make sure none of this stuff sticking up is going to be in the way um, of your machine as it's carving. That's the only thing you really got to watch for. These are just kind of hand tight, not real, not real hard. Um, but that's on there. I can move my whole table and this piece of wood's not moving. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good solution. I also made some of these uh, earlier. They're just a little cam. I want to redo these and make the lobe bigger um, so it'll cam more. But I just put these through with this and then I can't really see from over there. But you know how a cam works, I'm sure. If the wood was closer, it would just, as it goes over, it just tightens it up. Um, so these are all things you can make on your machine because you got it. So I carved some hold downs and as you can see, they're working really good. They hold the material in place like they're supposed to. But I learned something very important that I want to share with you. This is the piece of wood I used to carve these. And as you can see, the grain is running in this direction. I carved the hold downs in this orientation and this orientation. The ones I carved in this orientation going with the grain, like this one here, it's very strong. You can see that's what I'm using there. I cranked down on those, they didn't break. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this and it's not breaking. These ones, all the five inch and the three inch ones, I carved against the grain and the result is useless. <laughs> That's the result. So out of the 18 that I carved, four are good. The four four inch ones that I carved with the grain, nice, strong, I can use them. Silly of me. I didn't even think about grain direction when I was designing this. All I was thinking about was max yield for the piece of wood I had. So it's a good lesson for me. It's a good lesson for you. Carving something like this where strength is a factor, think about the direction of the grain of your wood because as you can, as I just showed you, um, it makes a huge, huge difference. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll see you for the next one. Terrible. Just terrible.